Okay, so first of all, excuse the mess, but today's video we are going to be, well, I want to rearrange my enclosures. Now, a lot of my, these, what do you call these, these moisture dependent species, like my, my King Krachan, Dark Earth Tiger, they are over here. And they're all like, like, I don't know how to say it, like they are all away from each other, right? So here is one moisture dependent species, over here is one moisture dependent species, and then over there another moisture dependent species. So my plan is to put all the moisture dependent species over here and over there, like closer to the sink, so I'm able to, you know, water them easily. And also because I have arid species, like for example, my rose hair, which is like up here and yeah, arid species. So every time I want to go and water the moisture dependent species, I'll have to go through the arid species and see which one is moisture dependent species. So yeah, if I move all the moisture dependent, oh my gosh, tongue twister. If I move all the moisture dependent species over to the sink, I won't have to like look for them because I've got 99 custom made enclosures in this room. And if they're all scattered around, I don't, you know, it, it just makes it a little bit more efficient to put the moisture dependent species at over here, like, like nearer to the sink, right? So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's carry on with the video. Okay, so how I'm going to be doing it is over here, moisture dependent species as well as over there. And then slowly, we're going to be moving to the arid species, which will be over there and along this side over here. So yeah, moisture and then slowly because some tarantulas do require some moisture. And then slowly we'll move to the fully dry tarantula, which includes the GBB. So I'm not going to be able to show you guys how I'm moving them, but I'll tell you guys what species goes to which position, all right? So this over here is my Thrixopelma prurient. I'm not, yeah, maybe semi, but a lot of people keep them bone dry. So yeah, this one is moving out and we will move this tarantula over here. Wait, actually, no. I think these ones, yeah, it'll, it'll make it easier for me because if I move this over here, then this one, because here's gonna be filled with the moisture species, and then this one, yeah, let's just remain this one over here. This one will move it to the furthest moisture dependent species, which maybe will be my King Krachan over there. So for those who are curious which species will be the moisture dependent one, which one I'm gonna categorize them as the moisture dependent one, will be the Asian species, the Aphobopus murinus, which is the skeleton tarantula, and then, yeah, mostly my Asian species, pretty much. And then the Brazilian species will be in the middle because they do live in tropical areas as well. But then like the Chilean rose hair tarantula, the GBB, those really arid ones, we'll put them like last over there. So in a way, besides it being more convenient and efficient for me to water them, it's gonna be a whole new makeover for me as well because yeah, I'm kind of bored of their positions right now. Positions, yeah. I'm kind of bored of their current position, so a little change wouldn't hurt. All right, so I've moved my King Krachan over here and the Thrixoperma Prurians over there. Now, it's not going to be like a full row, like from here all the way to the top, like right over there because, well, I don't want to be standing on that stool to be able to water them. So what I'm going to be doing is the highest I'm going to put for the moisture dependent species will be over here so I can still open it and water them. Like over here, this taller one, nah, that will, didn't it is dubia. But yeah, this taller one will not be the moisture dependent species. So in other words, one, two, three, and four. The first four rows will be the moisture dependent species. And also I'll try to put the genus in the same place. So Kilobrachis King Krachan, my Andersonia I'll put here, and then my Huahini, you get the point. All right, go for my King Krachan here, and then me Anderson, which is over there, she's in there. So yeah, all these are the Asian moisture dependent species. Let's move, let's, let, let's, sorry, I can't speak. Let's move my uh, huahini down here. All right, got my huahini here. Surprisingly, she did not even move from, from that point over there. Cause usually the moment I move her enclosure a little bit, she's gone into the burrow, but <laughs> surprisingly from there to here, she was in the same position, which is awesome. You can see her like right over there man look at how plump she is very very beautiful girl got her as a super tiny sling like a 1cm yeah 
now she's super big all right so the place is starting to get a little messy now so i will rehouse i mean not rehouse like like move everyone into their positions and then i will like go through them one by one and show you what is in what so yeah i have moved my other kilo brackets swahini here so dark earth tiger andersoni wahini wahini and down there we'll see we'll see when yeah after this <laughs> stay tuned guys stay tuned which yeah it's gonna take me a while to put everyone into their positions but you guys will see right after this so yeah be right back <laughs> and also this will not just be a moving thing it will also mean that the tarantula feeding videos will be in different order now because usually i feed my tarantulas from there move along here and then move along here so it's always in the same order you always see which tarantula comes first and after but now it's gonna be a whole lot different so that's a good thing as well okay so i have managed to do every single enclosure remixed everyone and i started filming this video at around 11 54 a.m in the morning and now it's like 2 15 so that's about close to two and a half hours and they are finally in their position still excuse the mess you guys i'll have to clean that after this but yeah just to show you guys earlier in this video i mentioned that i'm going to be putting moisture dependent species over here and over there but then i decided no nah, I'll, I'll just put them like over here and then over there i'll concentrate on like putting the same species and genus but yeah let me give you a quick run through so here is my dark earth tiger here's basically my asian species so yeah killer brachys king Kruchan, the Huahini, this is the another King Kruchan, I believe. Huahini, and then King Kruchan. Yeah, King Kruchans are in one row. I have three. And then we have the Andersoni. And then over here, we have got the Orphanacus Filipinas. And then the the Ornithoctonus oritibialis. And then Kilobrachis. And yeah, pretty much over here are the moisture dependent species. So I've got my skeleton torrential here as well. All moisture dependent species and well we move along over here we have got more into an organized setup so we have my grandma stola uh, pulcra 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 and then pulcra peas pulcra peas and that is the rosea rosea porteri and then grandma stola eheringi so pretty much here all grandma stolas and then over here we have a phonopelma calcodes calcodes by coloratum and that's the only odd one out, Eupalastris campostratus. And then we have got my Aphonopelma caniceps, caniceps, uh, Nandu carapoensis, carapoensis, no, no, Nandu, uh, what is this? Yeah, that is carapoensis. This is the, the name just can't come into my mind right now. Uh, dang it! But yeah, that is the tripepi. The Nando Chromatis. Oh yeah, Nando Colorado Velasus, that's it. Colorado Col <laughs> Nando Colorado Velasus, two of them over there. And then we have got my two GBBs here, Thrixopelma Prurient, Thrixopelma Occurti, and then the two Formictopus Cancerides. And yeah, this is the the I can't scare Geniculata, Geniculata. Geniculata, you get the point, right? If I go through everyone, this video is going to be so long. You will see them in order in maybe the next feeding video. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys and well, let you guys know that we have rearranged the tarantulas now. It makes it way easier for me because previously, when I want to water those moisture dependent species, I have to fill the bottle. I have to, oh, this one's a moisture dependent species, squirt, squirt, squirt. And then over here, no, that's an arid species. They have to go all the way over here, moisture dependent species. So now it makes it really easy, saves time as well. Get some water here, 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 here. It's so easy, right? So yeah, that's what I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's just that I've been lazy and now, we have done it. So yeah, guys, that'll be it for this video. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you later. Peace.